everyone it is your girl paris and i am back with a brand new video for you all today if you are new make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel welcome to paris where i am going to be diving in to vlogs and different home decor inspiration videos everything that you can think of i am going to be filming on my channel just give me some time <laughs> Today I'm going to be switching my video up a bit and I'm going to be filming a reaction video to one of my favorite HGTV shows, 100 Day Dream Home. Now, I have been watching HGTV for so, so long. I said one day I hope to have a TV series on HGTV. So I'm manifesting that. I one day see myself literally on HGTV hosting something or doing something correlated with HGTV. But anyway, I decided to do a reaction video to 100 Day Dream Home series because I absolutely love this show. So basically, 100 Day Dream Home is a, about a couple, Brian and Mika, who literally from ground up build your dream home in under 100 days. I think that's incredible. They do amazing work. All the designs, interior decoration, um, the actual home, everything is top tier. They do such an amazing job. If I moved down to Tampa, Florida, and that's where they are based at, Tampa, Florida, I would definitely reach out to them with building in my dream home one day. So look, you got to keep your options open. Tampa, Florida is beautiful, warm, hot. You're near the ocean, near the beach. You can't go wrong. So yeah, I think that this video is going to be super informative. Uh, maybe give you all some inspiration. Um, so yeah, if you're into interior design, decorating, just seeing how other people can come up with amazing ideas in their home, I think that you will very much enjoy today's video. So let's just jump into the video and start on this reaction. All right, stay tuned. So what I'm going to be doing is watching the series with you all on my iPad that I have right here. So let's just jump into my reaction and if you have any comments make sure you comment down below and let's just make a conversation of what we think of today's episode. It is so you? good to see you guys again. You ready yes, to get started on this so thing? You. We have a little daughter. Margo, we have another one on the way, August. Congrats. <laughs> How many bedrooms are we thinking for the house? Do we have more kids oh. maybe planned down the way? Uh, definitely more planned down the way. Oh, so. yeah. <laughs> 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 she understands. Just give me a break. She's going to be a break in between. But, uh, so I do think the couple is a beautiful black couple. Congratulations to them for their expanding family. So they have one child already and they are expecting another um so i do like the lot that they currently are going to be building their home the lot is about 5,000 square feet that is huge 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 so where i live the houses are pretty close together you don't really have like that much of a front or backyard so i think that in tampa florida you have the option to spread out a lot more it's not as congested and this area it looks like so it looks like they are gonna have the perfect area for a backyard a front yard and yard on the side honey so I think that it's a beautiful lot with a lot of trees that have been there for a long time the trees are huge so I think they have a great lot to build their home let's keep on watching okay so on their wish list they have four bedrooms two to three bathrooms I totally see why they want to have four bedrooms because of their growing family they may have family and friends spend the night two to three baths is a great idea especially for a resale value of your home great living space understandable because people love to host and have their friends and family over for game night birthday celebrations um, whatever it may be I understand that you want to have a common area where people can gather around there's great conversation laughter fun so I totally agree with that Spanish eclectic exterior okay so that is what he wants and I understand that I can see why the Spanish eclectic style is going to be what he wants because that's a popular style of house down in Florida so I personally like the modern touch as well I'm more so traditional mixed with modern not too too modern where it's just like gray and white walls everywhere not that modern but I feel as if Mika and Brian are going to tie it all together to make it still feel nice and warm and cozy. 
and she said that she does not want it to look like a castle <laughs> so i don't think it's gonna look like a castle at all so let's just keep on watching okay so i do like the fact that they are going to have a two-story home i'm thinking resale value so that's going to definitely be a great idea for it just to feel bigger and you can have um two levels to break up the uh, shared living area so you can have your privacy upstairs if you know your children want to stay upstairs and play in their game room and the parents can be downstairs so i do understand having a two-story home being built and i totally agree wow I'm looking here I think that the lot is beautiful I think I mentioned that already but I love that they have the trees to provide um, blockage of the Sun they don't have direct Sun coming at them and I think it is a great lot to just have an outside area um, in the front in the back on the side they have plenty of space to grow so I think that the lot is perfect hey, oh, I feel And I love how Mika just said that the great room is going to be the heart of the home. Literally the heart of the home because that's where you're going to have your family gather after work. You know, after coming back from the stores, shopping. That is where you're going to have, like again, those conversations and just growing with your family for the years to come in your new home. So I do love the fact that they are focusing a lot on having that great room area for their family okay so far on her design of the home this is computer generated it looks like so this is what they came up for the design i do like that mika is incorporating a lot of light it's going to be bright because of the natural lighting coming in from the windows i understand the fact that they want one big open room so there's not too many walls it's literally going to be a great room the dining room and the kitchen so that entire area is going to be a place where an open conversation and just being with family is like essential and important to this particular family so I do understand it and so far I do love the design all right so going up to the second story of the home I like the fact that the master bedroom is going to have it looks like one window so that's good um it's going to be looks like grown and sexy so I do like the style so far on what she's cre created on the computer generated system for the master bath they had a walk-in shower and a double vanity and that is going to be important i think you know when you have a new home built it is key to get a double vanity for resale value purposes people love double vanities for couples out there even your single girls like me single girls and men a double vanity is just going to allow for that more space and again um great resale value so let's keep on watching okay so going back to the reading look i think that's a great idea um reading is just fundamental so that's a place where i can see where she can read to her children she can have her um children's books and everything stored right there so i think that is a great idea so justin and kim's budget is three hundred and ninety thousand dollars. that is a great budget um that is very very good i know that the housing market is booming right now everything is over the top is so high and to be down in tampa florida i think that's a great budget for a brand new build like you can't beat that so congratulations to them once again and they're on day one of construction and it's groundbreaking so that's what they call it groundbreaking to you know start the actual building of the home and when it comes to the construction of a home i know it takes big machines and a lot a lot of um different constructions and permits to be passed so i do get it so i'm glad that brian can take care of all that for this couple because <laughs> he is like the general contractor so i think that it's going to turn out beautifully and let's just see what happens on day 15. day 15 is design details so i do love mika's idea of incorporating the black and white so the white cabinets can play off beautifully against the um darker cabinets below and i think they want to do maybe a darker um island so we'll see how that plays out but i totally understand not having an all-white kitchen i personally do not want an all-white kitchen i'm just mm -mm. all white is just too sterile for me i need pops of color whether it's you know like she said the darker browns and blacks just to make it feel more warmer and deeper 
so i think that it's going to play beautifully with incorporating what they both want so okay so on day 38 the construction and the supporting beams and everything that's holding their house together how the house is being constructed is all there wow it looks so good it looks very very good um so let's just keep on watching they are putting in this work to make sure they are going to get to 100 days or less for this new build wow <laughs> Brian and Mika always are keeping it a hundred, keeping it real. So I love the fact that they do listen to each other, they communicate. So she wants a wet bar and he wants to incorporate like a play area outside for the kids. And I think that's a great idea when you listen to your client's needs. They are going to just be going the extra mile with the wet bar. So when they have, you know, maybe on a Friday night when the kids are with the grandparents, they can have a nice fancy drink at the wet bar area. And then when the kids are home during the weekday, they can go outside to the backyard and play outside. So I think it's all about, you know, incorporating what is important to your family. So I just love the fact that this couple, Mika and Brian, can incorporate what their clientele really is looking for. And that comes with listening and just being open-minded. So. Let's just keep on watching and see how it turns out. The house turned out beautifully. This is amazing how it has the Spanish accepted style, but you can tell that it's modern, it's new. I love the window pane that is the same color as the roof, like a nice chocolate brown, which plays off beautifully with the white exterior of the home. The white garage is nice. Oh, I just love the, the key touches, the small touches that they have done. It looks really good. The yard is pretty. Um, I give it a 10 out of 10. Two car garage, and they have a small porch right there. They want to put a bench out and just look outside. I think that it came out really good and I'm excited to see what they have on the inside. I would definitely, look, I, I would move here. <laughs> this is beautiful. Okay, okay, so Brian got his dad to help with the playground. I think that is very, very funny. Uh, they act just like, I can tell that they are pretty close. <laughs> and he probably learned a lot of the construction business from his dad, it looks like, since his dad knows how to build a playground from scratch. So that's very very talented work <laughs> that they are doing they're working together teamwork um positivity i just love that they have great attitudes when it comes to just getting the job done so i do like the fact that they added more greenery on the outside of the home and eventually the trees are going to get bigger and it's just going to provide more privacy for them so i love the way the staircase turned out wow it came out just how she had it on her computer i love that they have the light wood flooring it plays beautifully against the staircase posting that is white and it has a bit of like a wiring going up the stair railing so i do love that it looks really good it's highs and very together with that traditional but yet that modern flair so i love the staircase oh look at <laughs> Look at her belly. Her belly has gotten so much bigger. Oh, wow. She's about to have that baby. Oh, beautiful couple. Okay, I can't wait for them to see their house. I can't wait to see it. And the wet bar came out beautifully. I love it. The white waterfall island, which I really do like. And she has the black cabinet. So I do love it. And they have the gold hardware. And the wet bar turned out really, really nice. I made to come over and get me a little drink. <laughs> They have a lot of natural lighting, plenty of windows. They can definitely grow in this home. It, it looks huge. Oh, wow. You can see on their face that they are genuinely happy with how it turned out. It is beautiful. So, stopping the video right here, the wet bar is beautiful. I already touched on it already. But I do love how they have the open shelving above the wet bar. And they have like their wine glasses and everything like that. Um, just keeping it simple yet yeah, modern that open shelving can really make it look make the space look bigger um and i think that the backsplash i love that they incorporated a clean white black splash the subway's howling is what it's called for the backsplash and i think that mika hit the nail on the head they have the double oven 
that's going to be very functional because if they have, you know, big dinners and, you know, you got to cook for, you know, more than yourself, they have a growing family that is going to be very functional. So I do love the fact that the pendant lights match the pantry door on the side right here, the black door. So, oh, I love it. That's that modern touch that really, you know, bold color, like black and gray. So I think that the... I think that everything ties in together. You have the dark cabinets at the bottom with the white cabinets above, and you have the subways howling as the backsplash. I love it. And this howling, she literally, Mika decided to go all the way to the ceiling with the tiling, if you notice. So that is really, really nice. I've never seen like the backsplash go all the way to the ceiling, but that is a great idea that I can definitely, you know, take from and learn from and just remember for the future. Plenty of cabinet space, plenty of places where you can organize and store. Wow, so just like I said earlier, I see that open space and the living room or the great room area, the dining room and the kitchen is one big space. I love the fact that they have beautiful lighting. I think that the gold lighting above the dining room table is beautiful. Independent lights above the island. I just love how it has like a dark contrast against the white walls the French door going out to the backyard I love that they painted it black and it's just not a white French door I feel as if it was white it would blend in too much with the walls so I love it it's not too cold it's not cold at all actually they have their browns they have their blacks they have their golds all the colors that I love oh it's right here so I think that it's a very functional space um, and they have plenty of seating area for their friends and family. So let's just keep on watching. I love how the great room turned out. I love the fact that if they wanted, they could place a TV potentially somewhere in that area. Or they may have another space dedicated for a TV area. Or maybe they're not into TV at all. So that's a good thing. <laughs> I love that it's warm tone. They have the browns. They have the blacks. They have the whites. I love the rug that she chose. Um, it's just really modern but yet traditional and it's very warm. Oh, so I do love the nursery. It turned out beautifully. It's simple, but warm and cozy. I just love how they have the different, it's like an animal themed room. They have the um, lion, they have the monkey, the zebra, the elephant. Wow, I love the wood flooring. The wood flooring is really, really nice. The light color wood flooring against the white walls plays out beautifully. Um, I feel as if, you know, when their child gets older, um, they can just paint the walls maybe a brighter color. What Mika and Brian provided them is just the the standard in which they can just do so much with when the child or, you know, if they choose to make it an office or whatever they may do, they have the standard room to get started. You know, it's new. It's um, just beautiful. It's a good space to just turn it into something different, you know, once the child gets older. So... I love it. Okay, so their master bedroom is a beautiful. I love it again. So it's, it seems as if they kept the wood flooring the same across the entire home. The wood flooring was on the first level and it's also brought up to the second level. I love the fact that their when you walk in their bedroom, obviously their bed is their main focus point and they kept it black and white. And it's so funny because my theme is black and white when I move. So. I'm just definitely getting some great ideas from this right here. I like the fact that the door is a black. I never thought about, you know, painting a door black because you think black, you know, it's really dark for a room. But against the white, it is beautiful. I would definitely maybe even consider painting a door black just by looking at this show. I think that it came out really nice. Okay, so I do like the fact that, you know, their room has a lot of natural light coming into the room because they have the three smaller windows and again those lights on the wall i really do like i think that's a really good idea i really do like the wall lighting it's so different we're so used to having the table lamps but i really do think that the modern touch is incorporated with this lighting and i'm pretty sure the lighting can be found on like online at wayfair, wayfair or amazon um, I'm all about the natural lighting. I think that it's going to brighten the room, make the room look much bigger. She just kept it pretty simple with the design. So the, you know, the black and white and they have the two nightstands that are black and white. So yeah, they can definitely, you know, expand and grow in this home. And the, the design is just very simple, but yet elegant and something where it doesn't go out of style. You can 
have this design for many, many years. Okay, I love the master bathroom already. It is definitely something that is not too bright and colorful, but that black and white is so bold. It's so intriguing to look at. Um, as far as like the subway tiling, I do love that. So it plays off beautifully with that black and white tiling that she has um, in the bathroom. And I love the fact that Mika and Brian incorporated the dark hardware, that dark like brownish blackish hardware. It's just, again, adding that modern touch, which I really like. It plays off beautifully and looks good against the white subway tiling. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Oh, wow. So, I did not even realize they had um, the ceiling at, with wood planks. They incorporated wood planks throughout the entire ceiling. I love the ceiling fan. So, that must have been in the um, living room area. I did not even notice that from... The beginning so wow okay so the backyard is beautiful wow they have plenty of space because i think the lot was almost five thousand square feet so they can definitely expand in the years to come if need be i love that they have an exterior outside area dedicated to where they can just sit and relax and lounge in they have a roof covering over a patio on the outside exterior so it's kind of like just like, like a deck outside i really do like that and the play area matches the house <laughs> so that is a really thoughtful idea to have the play area black and white so the kids can be playing in that area right there and then the grown-ups and their parents can just be sitting on that covered porch right on the outside watching them. I think that it is beautifully done. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I had a great time reacting to a 100 day dream home episode. I think that Mika and Brian killed it. They killed it with the design. They listened to their clients' hell and they communicated with each other and just made it all come together. Made it all come together. So if you don't really check out HGTV, definitely check out 100 Day Dream Home. I also love House Hunters. I plan on doing a reaction video to House Hunters. But the main point of my video, I hope you learned something from today's video that you can mix patterns and do different colors and literally interior design makes a difference when you come home. You can come home and enjoy coming home. You can just look around your home and you get a sense of peace, a sense of calmness, a sense of happiness. We want to, you know, start thinking like that when we are in our home um i think that truly does make a difference in just the enjoyment you get out of life you want to just come to a place that is relaxing you're not stressed you're just you know you know you don't want to feel like tension so i think that hgtv and especially this series can just show you that if you you know start saving and you can reach out to a general contractor or somebody where you can buy land and get your dream home built it's possible or you know if you are you know looking for an apartment a town home a home whatever that you can literally design something to make it your own you know find different items in the stores for good prices and there's so much you can do wallpaper there's um wallpaper you literally can stick in on the wall which can totally change the vibe and color and feel of a room so it just takes the time the research and just knowing that it is possible and it's and it can be reasonably done is all that you need to know so make sure you take the time to do your research i will have more reaction videos like this video today i hope you enjoyed it as always make sure you like comment and subscribe Welcome to Paris is my channel. Paris is my name. And I will see you all in the next video. Stay safe, stay blessed, stay positive, And I will see you next time. Bye. I could get two fucks while my Grammys go I just gave out Grammys on my